didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. On the move to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. A huge play there for Chicago. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. And that's why you do all the drills that you do from the quarterback position, because you're not going to just throw to your strength. The right-handed quarterback naturally will want to move to the right side to throw the football. But sometimes you've got to go left, and that's exactly what happened on that play. Forced to his left, still able to accurately throw it downfield for a completion. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to go up top for the end zone. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver. Third down here. There's Jefferson to pull that in. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Escaping the pressure right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Hurts. Similar to a shooter in basketball, just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will knock things up here late in the first half. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Rolling to his left. 
Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. He was able to get away earlier in the drive, but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front, didn't it? They remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one. Steps away to his left. This is caught. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. That's a big league job there, getting out of the pocket, not panicking, and just buying himself some time. Then he made a good, accurate throw to set up first and goal. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Debo. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. To throw on second and 10, Hurts. And he checks this one down to Williams. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Looking to throw, sliding out of the pocket. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. On first and 10, it's Hurts, out to his left. And it's incomplete, took a shot, couldn't connect. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. They'll roll him out right. got an injured player and unfortunately that's the quarterback Jalen Hurts who's down on the field the coverage unit out there thinking pass on third and three well he gets attended to we'll step aside taking a shot for Samuel and it's caught one-handed oh my pulled it in circle at the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense they have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. On first and 10, here's Andy Dalton. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working with this. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. Touchdown. Justin Jefferson. His first. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Looking for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Debo Samuel. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And it's starting to look like that three-game losing streak is going to be a thing of the past here. Coming up first and ten in the fourth quarter. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Steps away. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Andy Dalton, he'll buy some time right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. A wide open, complete! And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. And 
Oh, they hate that. Wipes out the big play. And I know this is the NFL, so they would probably fine you for this type of a penalty. But when I was in college, you used to have to do up-downs for the number of yards that you cost a team in a big play. Oh, nice move. <laughs> now a hit and a loose football. And I think the Bears have recovered. They have. He's hoping to make a play there on the return with his speed. Instead, he makes a play for the other side. Yeah, and how many times have we heard coaches say, you know, sometimes it's not really about those X's and O's we drop. It's about those Jimmy's and Joe's. <laughs> and we have a touchdown, Bears! Debo Samuel, 42 yards. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points, allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Chicago, they snap out of their doldrums and improve. I want you to love me. 